Hello Scorpios, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. We're going to do your 8 to 14 read. Let's see the messages for you Scorpio. This is going to be for all those sun, moon, rising and Venus signs and Scorpio. Let's see. For more personals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Also do I pray based spells for your highest good, including the cord cutting spells, rituals. And we also have high vibrational, fully charged intention crystals that are curated by me with healing energies of love. Okay, do subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign, Scorpio. And there's one good news as well. If you do not know, I Enigma Scorpio has just been launched on YouTube and have provided you the link below. You can go and check out all the Scorpio daily videos for all those Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mercury in Scorpio. So this is just not for the Sun in Scorpio. This is for all the signs falling in Scorpio. These main signs. Do like, share, comment in the end. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, don't rush into things. That one message came to me. Okay, so Scorpio, I feel like there's someone planning and strategizing against you. There are two people that are planning and strategizing against you. And they're not stopping anywhere. It's like you're tired of it. You're tired of dealing with it. You're like, oh, wait, they're cooking uh, something behind your back and, you know, trying to destroy your mental peace. And I feel like these people are extremely manipulative and enigmatic. Enigmatic means enemy type foes, okay? I know from where did I get this word, but yeah. So I feel like you're dealing with two probably women here. I feel you're being a um, victim of gossip and manipulation. I feel that's something that I'm strongly sensing over here. And then we have the death. Wow. And then we have the... Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You're transforming. I feel like nowadays you're just not bothered. I feel like they're still trying to do that. They're still trying to poke you affect you hurt you influence you but they will see a major change in you because now you don't give an f you don't care that's what you're showing them like you're healing and you're completely over it you're completely close the chapter with these people it does not matter to you they do not affect you at all anymore it could be a scorpio could be another or a Sagittarius or any other water sign but i'm definitely sensing i'm also seeing air sign very strongly i feel like there are certain people that do not want your highest good and they are not in your family. They might be in your friend circle or they might be nearby. But I feel like you're finally cutting the cords off and you don't care because you want to really focus all your energy into good things, good people, you know, expansion, growth. I feel like here is a time where you will be reviving yourself, working on yourself making yourself more exciting, attractive, and focusing all your energy towards the right type of people and experiences. Three of Pentacles is like there's a good job offer that's coming in for you. There's a rise, there's growth, and I feel like you are working on it. I'm also hearing that you might be getting a money spell or there's some sort of a ritual that you are getting, and I feel like that's bringing you good um, results, okay? So for some of you, it is like you're focusing on your work. Even at night, you're working hard over your skills. You're improvising your work so that you can come out with a better craft. And I feel like whatever you're laying out in the public, like this is my work. This is what I have done. You are being appreciate, appreciated well enough. And I feel like you are growing. That is like no stopping by. You are expanding. And that is why you're not giving enough to the past because you're moving forward. You're growing. You're expanding. You're exploring yourself. You are working hard. You're, yeah, as I was saying. Okay, so work is like worship for you. Some of you are starting your own like uh, business, I feel something to do with art, something to do with makeup, something to do with um, exhibition of your art, like paintings or historical or vintage stuff. I feel that is what you might be doing. Okay. And then I can see here the Ace of Wands first. So Ace of Wands is like there is something new that's coming for you, like a good news that is going to make you jump with joy. You will be so excited with this news. Maybe someone is bringing in um, an offer of uh, collaboration you always wanted or it is um, someone that is going to 
pass you in an exam or they will be choosing your project or quotation over someone else so whatever it is it's like a good news coming towards you and you're so happy so in your career there's a jump start you're moving forward okay then we have the queen of wands the queen of wands is like you're being your in your own power you you're in this happy energy you're like i don't give importance to anybody else in the world except me that is what you're becoming like you are more selfish and i feel i need you to be okay be that badass person so right now you're sitting on a pedestal and you're getting no other you're just focusing on yourself i feel like you're looking amazing you're looking great the way you dress the way you look everything is just so perfect about you so you're living the life of your dreams here and then we have the emperor there's someone that you have to be aware of. This is an older man that you are stressing yourself out with, okay? And or this could be someone that was married and is trying to come back because they're not feeling happy without you. And I feel like they're trying to come back and talk to you. For some of you, it is like your father. There are some issues that might pop up out of nowhere between you and your dad. So be careful of not letting them down and not even listening to anything that just comes to you as an order. Okay, so I feel like something uh, from an older man, like in Aries, for some of you, it might stress you a little bit and take away your, uh, you know, peace of mind. That's what I can see here. All right. Yeah, okay. I feel like your father is kind of pushing you towards marriage and you are not able to find one. Or they're extremely worried and not sleeping well because they're looking for happiness, your happiness, and they can't find it. And they're like, okay, when will you get married? When will you give me good news? So it's like you also feel bad that you're making others suffer because of you. I feel like that is the kind of energy someone here might be feeling like that, okay? Ten of Pentacles is like an outcome after a period of, you know, famine, after a period of scarcity and low and snow, you know, a uh, cold period. After that period of feeling cold and alone and left out, you finally have this energy of Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands adjoining, which means that, yes, there is a new beginning that you can be hopeful for a marriage proposal that will end up into something fruitful by the end of this year okay so stay positive that's what you need to be and i feel like right now your focus should be about you and that's it for some of you i need to say this for some of you very few people of you you may need to take extra care of your dad okay extra care because they might be worried for your happiness and that you they want to see you happy they want to see you grow for some of you it's like that ace of swords the two of swords you guys are planning you may have two opportunities and tasks coming and you're like which one should i do first so it can lead you to a feeling of indecisiveness and you're not able to decide and you're not able to prioritize which thing should i do first which thing should i do next so somewhere i feel like you need to be focused and you need to take one thing first and then go for the next instead of doing trying to do both the things together because in the end of the day you might get disappointed okay the moon, the two of swords, and the five of cups, and oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, some of you may be dealing with a cancer that has deceived you, okay? That has said things and you believed in them and now they're nowhere to be seen. There's someone that has ghosted you, I feel like that's a cancer, and you're still angry and you're like, why? You need answers from this person, okay? This might not be just cancer, could be anyone, but you're like trying to get answers. If you try to seek into what's unknown, and what's in the past, you will never be able to uh, outgrow your own fears and blockages. I feel like it's time what is not coming out in the picture or what is not coming in front of you needs to be released and move forward with. So the magician is right now telling you that the power is in your hand. You have what it takes and whatever you want can turn into reality only if you focus all of your energy and power into it. So your heart's desire is going to be fulfilled and this is something that is going to be in your highest good. And this could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius that is coming newly towards you. Okay. It's time that you understand that whatever negative forces are there, it is just helping you come out more brighter and love yourself even more. 
and you've started to believe in yourself more. So in a way, all of these teachings are helping you becoming the better version of who you are. So be thankful for all the experiences that you might be having right now. Some of you are working on a skill like a creative art that you want to come out with and that thing you may sell at a very huge amount, okay? Or your project is going to be outnumbering other projects or your research work is going to outnumber other people, other research. So it's like you have that, you're wearing a cloak which is full of drive and passion and force, so life force. You're forcing yourself towards uh, the truth and growing out of it and manifesting the unknown, okay? Something new. It's time for you to look forward and shatter the glass ceiling. Something that I'm seeing here. Okay, what else? Okay. The Six of Wands. It's time to shed the past. I feel like whatever is being still hung up with you from the past needs to be cleared away. Because the magician in the Six of Wands is like new beginning, full of love and respect coming in. You are going to be treated a lot lovingly by new people, by the people around you. You may get a proposal, you never know, you may get business offer, but it's something that is just making you feel happy and there's a big smile on your face. You might go for a higher study. I feel like there's a Libra Gemini Aquarius that might be stalking you and is trying to come towards you with a proposal here. Okay, you might come across someone like that. Scorpio, please. Wow. Get ready. There's someone that's about to ask you out soon on a date. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day and could be evening as well. But I feel like it's going to be just beautiful. It will be like you and me and only us. Wow. It's going to make you so happy. I feel like it doesn't matter this person is someone that you will end up with or not. It's just this new thing, something new you're doing and something different. I feel like the experience will make you so happy and fulfilled. And, you know, the wholesome feeling is what I'm getting. Okay. So this will help you release all your fears and blockages, the coming date that you're going on. Okay. So some of you, this could be an Aquarius, but what I can see over here is that you feel a sense of freedom and joy. And this is an all new experience going to make you feel wholesome. Who is coming towards you? You know, overall, if I tell you the summary of this, I can sense that it's just like from darkness to light. This is what I can sense over here. The mature women. The message. Okay. Tell me more about this. Oh, there's an older female that's bringing you a message or an offer of marriage. I feel there's someone very traditional, coming from a traditional background. Maybe it's their mother, a very cultural, traditional, like, approach. If it's someone might bring you an offer of this person towards you, like a third person, an older female could be their mother. So expect a message of, of your love interest through someone else. There is someone else that's bringing in a gift of love, a message, okay? There's a messenger in short. You have a messenger coming into your life that is bringing in a proposal from this person's end. It could be their personal secretary, <laughs> you never know. It could be their assistant, it could be their mother. It could be anyone, but it is coming from them. All right, so something to do with seventeen, seventeen, seven, the number seven. 
I want to tell you there's someone that is secretly watching you but is unable to say it on your face. So it might be that there's someone else that's bringing in their offer towards you. Okay. An older female, I feel, for some of you, it could be. Oh, this person is shy. I feel like there's someone that's extremely shy and intimidated and they're not able to come towards you openly. So they might be taking help of a third person to reach out to you. Okay. This is a little unusual, but yeah, it's, it's interesting though. You find that interesting to comment down below. All right, like what's happening in your life? Do let me know, Scorpios, in your comment section. Do like this video for more stuff and subscribe. Okay, Scorpio. Yeah, it's time that someone is coming to express their feelings. But I'm also seeing if you've been having a hard time dealing with expressing your feelings, you may be doing that now and that will surprise you because you're doing it out of the blue. You're doing it naturally. Okay, so there's someone that you have to let go and you have to realize that this person, no matter how much you express them your feelings, they will never appreciate it and they'll always want something that is casual. So there's someone that you still want to work things out with, but this person is an ending. You will realize that it's time to end the situation because this person is a narc and will always treat you like that, you know, like a negative person. And I feel like you are coming out of that zone of being a victim of this. Forgiveness. All right. So what I can see over here is that the only reason why you might be facing some roadblocks when it comes to love life is because you're not able to forgive what happened with you and you're not able to accept or you're really shocked with how people can be so mean. Like if you if you don't want someone, you can just say it on their face, right? Why would you ghost them and keep them hanging and thinking about what just happened? So I feel like that hurts you and that has caused you a major uh, downward spiral. And that comes from the source of not being able to forgive and not being able to move on. I feel like it's time that you do that. Because once you do that, you have this new door opening up for you where there is no resentment, where there is just openness playfulness, feeling of fullness and freedom, okay? All right, action. It's time for you to take action. You might be in the same place, doing the same old thing, come out of it, do something new, experience new things because I feel like it's time that the universe wants you to experience something new. And for that, you have to take action. You have to do something new for yourself. I'm also seeing one more thing you need to speed up. Do you see one thing? 17. Someone born on 17 is doing something on you. It could be negative. It could be positive depending upon your connection with that person. Or the person that you're attracting in your love life is born on 17 or 8. Or even 16 or 7. Okay. Note that down. Be true to yourself. So make sure that you're not hurting yourself in this energy of wanting to display your affection that does not care for you or keeping resentment or playing with others or whatever it is. Just understand that you're not sabotaging your own needs for someone else. It's time that you speak up for what is right. Okay, that's also one more message. Maybe something you're... You're not opening up to, you're not able to speak up for yourself. So here it's time for you to speak up for yourself. Okay, the signs that are coming in. We have Capricorn, we have, wow. Capricorn might be rich because I've been getting this a lot of times for Capricorn. Okay, so I'll be doing all the signs. We have Libra also coming in for you. Aries, please. Aries towards Scorpio. Who, what is this person thinking, feeling about you? Aries has options and I feel like they're wanting to, you know, 
choose you but only if you allow them but they have options they're not ready much that that much Taurus is seeing you as a dream come true as a wish come true the Gemini is trying to move on from you but still stop not unable to stop thinking about you Cancer is coming towards you with full force but they're a little intimidated by of rejection Leo wants love here, a new beginning here, a lot of passion here. Virgo is stalking and spying. Libra wants to marry you. Scorpio, please. Okay, Scorpio is right now more like about me, myself, and I. Be my way or go highway. <laughs> so it's a no from this side. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius is taking unnecessary stress and I feel like they're a little like uh, annoyed from you. I feel this person is having some grudges. So they're hurting. Capricorn. Capricorn sees you as a lifelong partner. They're in love and they're coming with a proposal. Going to the next level, next stage of life. Aquarius is deciding of taking things forward on a deeper level. The Pisces is wanting to keep up the fight between you guys. I feel like this person thinks that they are right and you're wrong. And until you do not bow down to their need, they will not come towards you. So this is a negative person. All right. Okay. This is the best part, isn't it? Do let me know. Okay. All right. So you have someone that is, oh, I'm sensing this person could be an officer if you're asking about a male. If it's a female, she could be doing something that's related to law or arts. Uh, yeah, law or arts. Okay. You're about to get, you know, there's a possibility that a solid foundation in love is going to be laid. But the, ki the kind of person that you're attracting, probably in Aquarius, is someone that you'll have a spiritual connection, relationship with. And it's angelic. It's very angelic connection. It's beautiful. And I feel like the angels are giving you a lot of repeating numbers to give you idea who this person is. And you're blessed. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Right now, make a decision. Whatever you're confused about, think about it. Make a decision. Is this going to work for you in the long run? Is it going to give you anything in return in the long run except sadness? If yes, then think about it. But if it's not giving you any good, then there's no point of thinking about things because energy flows where attention goes. So make sure that your attention is in the right place. It's time for you to work out. It's time for you to look good. If you are already a person, could be that athletic or something like that. But I feel like you're attracting an officer figure. Someone that has a badge or respectful um, in society, very well honored, that kind of a person. Also see secrets here. Yeeks. Secrets, okay. So there's something that's going to come out in the open in the month of april 8 to 14 between 8 to 14 and that will help you release all your blockages i feel the last man standing you guys are gonna you know fight till the end <laughs> okay so that's about it scorpio i hope you've enjoyed the read don't forget to like subscribe and comment i'll see you again with more stuff Bye bye